Welcome back. When we left off, um, er everything's burning. Er everyone's dying. There's flu fucking everywhere. We're in a bad we're we're in a bad place. You know, I've just had to basically reshuffle the council in between episodes here because um, we're inheriting a load of duchies, which we then can't give away because a the council are dying and b we're having to stock it with randomers. And uh, it just so happened that the people I put on there at the end of the last episode didn't want me to give away any promises, which is going to cause big issues for us if we have loads of duchies. Everyone's going to hate us. So I've reshuffled that, given away some duchies over here. Um, we can compose a book, so let's go ahead and do that. Why not? While there's disease ravaging the land, why not compose a book, eh? Yep, this is going to keep happening. We're going to keep gaining provinces until this disappears. But it's going to be a good equalizer for us, because we can just summon troops. And no one else is really going to be able to keep up with us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Really? Um, so the council's dying again. Let's put some loyalists onto it just so we can still dish out land. Uh, what's this? Snapvine. This is one sort of issue we're facing. The, the game mechanic where if you're over your domain and random things spawn is kind of a little bit annoying in this case because we're constantly going to be inheriting more land than we can hold. Um... We did get the flu relatively early on. Fortunately, it didn't have to spread all the way from Morrowind. It did jump over, so. Okay, we've got Lanawar tribe back. I think we're always going to have that. Oh, Jesus. Um, peasant unrest. Sure. Investigate this for me. Come my court physician. Okay. This is... I, I'm seeing a trend here. I'm sort of debating whether or not it's worth me speeding through the disease. Uh, letting it play by itself and then coming back to... Or, or starting the video again later on. That's just awful. It's really just awful sound effects. We're going to see it through. This might be a lot of vassal... I wouldn't blame you if you skip this episode, let's be honest. It's going to be a lot of vassal management while we wait. Oh, Jesus. Um, great. I think we just got that back immediately, didn't we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's build a new holding and destroy the tribal settlement. We can't afford it. Oh my god. How much? Can I upgrade it? Why can't I... Can I... Um, upgrade the castle. What do we need? Location is the ideal mark. Oh, so it needs to be our religion. And we need a great tribal stronghold. That's not too difficult. Can we really not become... Is, it, is this really not converted yet? Go ahead and convert. Um, oh lord. What else have we picked up here? Another entire duchy. What a surprise. You're all Bosnia. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Let's find these mages. What I'm going to try and do is get this whole ordeal dealt with in this episode. So if you want to skip it and go back to regular scheduled nonsense, you can. And you won't miss much besides me apparently dishing out land to randomers. Uh, yeah, we do want to give that to you. That's what we inherited. I'm going to give that away temporarily. We're not going to upgrade it for a while. And uh, we give that away. We've picked up something else as well. Oh, the city finished building. Well, that's that's pretty good, I suppose. Could have held that ourselves, but I'll, I'll deal with that later on. Okay, we got 500 troops there. I'm just going to disband it and start again later on. Council's empty. High Rock. Um, local Revolt response minus 10%. We need this right now. Got that tribe back. Just have all these people imprisoned. And we can just sacrifice into Hermes more. I suppose we could give out this tribe again. Just so we're not constantly getting pop-ups. You know what? I think you would be justified in thinking maybe the Argonians did this on purpose. Just saying. Is that racist? I'm not sure. But let's put it this way. Argonia is not affected. Yeah, everyone else is suffering. <laughs> it's conspiracy theory. Don't worry. Um, light the pyres. Sure. Very lot of cults during the last week and no accusations. You will never know certain if those prosecute were to blame, but everyone seems relieved. Alright. And we're getting some provinces back again. Very annoying. Snapvine. Let's go ahead and give that away. Which one's Snapvine again? Oh, it was me trying to break the province down. Uh, it's this one here, I assume. No sub vassals. Uh, you're nobody. We're just keeping an eye if they've got parents. Just so we're not accidentally giving away a bunch of provinces. As long as we've got half a council stacked with... Um, 
stacked with loyalists, we can keep doing this. But I don't need to worry about it yet. So again, if we're stacking the council with people, they're just going to die almost immediately. Elsewhere, ravaged by the Kanatan flu. It still hasn't started receding yet. Oh my lord. For some reason, we just keep inheriting these tribes. I suppose maybe they've got less disease resistance because they're a tribe? I, I really don't know. Speaking of which... Ah. Now, if I saw that right... I'm not sure whether that was it spreading or whether it receding, but the... The name's moving, but I'm not sure... Oh, it's because Whitbane has appeared there and is um, making the name smaller. Great, more tribes. All right, here we go. Let's just let it play. Well, I love that we're just sitting in our castle. Gates open, people are coming back and forth, you know, dying all over the place. I mean, more importantly, we're just writing a book, having a nice time. Just building up our magicka. Obviously, there's no point summoning, even if we're at our cap, no point summoning anything, because it would just die off almost immediately. Uh, chance of raising the quality of our work. Heritage Lanawa tribe. What a shocker. Alright, so we have a lot of ruins. Wow, a lot of ruins just came through with treasure. We've got a flawless alien sword. That might be a up direct upgrade to what we've got already. Gold. The amulet of articulation. I could do with that right now, to be honest with you. Um... We're trying to forge an alliance with Grandmaster Ralvis of the Great House Indra. That could be pretty good. And he's agreed to it. That's nice. Sweet. Okay, the flu is receding. Look at this. Phew, not much longer. Uh, resist my foul impulses. I need to talk to the church. Okay, we're not going to do anything else, but let this run this episode. So if people have skipped it, understandable. And we will end this once we've sort of restructured the round, got everything back on track. Even if the video is only like, you know, 10 minutes long or whatever, we'll stop it there. Just so that for people who have skipped it, they aren't missing anything. We'll get it all dealt with. One nicely wrapped up episode. Look at this. Oh no, eight divines uprising. Brilliant. Um, well, they've already been defeated. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, you can stay in my prison. We'll send you to Mora later on. Alright, so it looks like the last bit's just leaving the kingdom now. We're still slightly infected there on the very eastern areas. Apparently that province in particular really just full of the plague. Um... No, we're not, we're not accepting any favors soon as we're restructuring the council in a second. Oh, wow. Okay, we got uh, Azo Lich Decay underscore step underscore one. Now, we are playing on a test build. I should mention that um, probably more frequently, to be honest. But we, Lich Decay is the process whereby over time you will slowly decay, funnily enough, because obviously you're just a soul living in, a, in an undead body, essentially. Um, this is the first step. After three of these, we will turn undead completely into a Draugr. Um, and that will be the end of our character. Well, it won't be the end of us. So it will be the end of us being an elf. Our book's done. The uh, the fact book. Uh, what does that do for us? Narrow flank personal combat. Pretty useless, I'll be honest. Let's go ahead and equip our upgraded sword. Yeah, it is better in every conceivable way. And we'll give that to Mora. We've taken off an amulet. Was that intentional? We've already got something equipped on our next slot. What have we got equipped on our next slot? Oh, we've got a different amulet domination there. So this is general opinion. Uh, no, we'll stick with that for now. Alright. Um, we're not really interested in getting the trip drunkard. Come on, please. It's one province. Why is he not going? There we go. Alright, I think it's completely gone. Sweet. So let's start uh, dishing out some lands. Swing out our borders again. Tidying up vassals. And then we will uh, be done for now. What else do we pick up? Valaport? Uh, apparently this whole province. So let's go ahead and give this to preferably a feudal guy. Slightly higher taxes. Uh, obviously we get to control his levies directly that way. Uh, what was this one? Uh, Pelda? Yeah, Pelda. Right. So you can take that. Um, we've also picked up Senalana here. Unless that was ours. 
Were we intentionally holding this province, do you think? I know we had two. Yeah, no, I think that was ours intentionally, so that's not a problem. We're at six of six, that's fine. Uh, let's just have a look at our vassals here. Now, the vassal map is more or less where it should be, I think. I think it's almost entirely du jour. Okay, sweet. Ugh, terrain mode. Let's go ahead and restructure the council. Um, I'm going to put a loyalist in our advisor slot. You're also a loyalist. My wife? Sure. And let's just go ahead and look at our vassals modes who don't like us. This guy's... Bosma, somehow... Oh, the usurper, right. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to be taking that off of you. And what else have you got? You've got something else as well. We'll take that away. And Gliverdale. I assume you've got some... Uh, you're Bosma. You're Aliads. Let's revoke that. Uh, wait. You've got... What? Sorry? Oh, no. I, <laughs> I, I was looking at the grand title. I thought that was um, the revoke title screen. This guy's quite a powerful bass, actually. He had two... Um, he had two counties under him. Alright, and you are Gliverdale and Aliad, so you can have uh, all of this. There we go. He doesn't count as a Merchant Republic because he's, he's inland, obviously, so we don't have to worry about that adding to our Merchant Republic. Um, oh, did we convert our capital? Sweet, we did. Ideal Masters. Okay, let's go ahead and start converting powerful vassals capital. So we'll start closest to our own... Or we could start converting, to be honest, our own uh, provinces start... And then spread out from there. So anything else we need to do just in this tidying up episode. Someone is... Wait. Manipulate Ogma Infinium. Huh. Let's do that next episode. I found a secret button. Perfect. Perfect.